Hello, I am Rick the Belmont 12, and welcome to my third LP, a Castlevania game for the GBA. What is it this time? Got a fallen leaf. Some bats flying. It's Castlevania Army of the Conest, or whatever, released in 2002 for the GBA. My second favorite on a GBA. Let's go start, shall we? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Been playing the DS so much, I forgot the controls. As always, this will be the max gold and luck playthrough because I want to have fun. You can't steal my fun. And I beat this game. And it gives us a little backstory. It takes place right after the original Castlevania on the NES. You play as Simon's son, I think? I think it's called? Simon's son, Ju Justice. I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. I had to study more. <laughs> Justice love and childhood friend was kidnapped. And all Castlevania games start off like this. <laughs> really, really. We got Llamas of Innocence. This. Curse of Darkness. I mean, really. <laughs> we are accompanied by Maxim. Or Maxim. And we're in the castle. Really? Could it be a Fable Dracula's Castle? Or is it something else? We shall see and find out more in Castlevania Omnia Disconnus. Alright, I don't know how you pronounce that name, so don't I don't want you to bar comments with this, okay? Let's start the game. Ready? Great. Another J wannabe. <laughs> Lost his memory. Now he's gonna... Wait a minute. Dude, what's wrong? Okay! This is Harmony of Discarnish, or whatever you call it. This is one of the first Castlevanias that let you catch a Castlevania Metroidvania style gameplay where you play as a Belmont. We got ourselves a whip. We cannot attack. We cannot attack up. We cannot attack down, up, down. You know, from Super Castlevania 4. Un un unless you hold on the attack button and move the D pad. That's more of Super Castlevania 4, right? And let's check out the pause menu. We got our name, our level, our EXP. What's our EXP to the next level? Our time, gold, HP, MP. How many hearts do we have? Strength, defense, intelligence, luck, and status. We got ourselves an equip. We got our whip, our bodies, and other stuff. So legs, arms, goods, heads. Items, potions, and all that stuff goes here. Spell books. We are not. I'll tell you what spell books is in the later part. Relics. Just like the gray souls in Dona Sarinaria Sorrow. Key configuration, configuration buttons, secret info. We'll know about these later. And a save room. We cannot function yet until we have a safe spot. So let's go. Let's travel into Dracula's castle. And what the? Is that thing moving? Is that thing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Run, Justice! Run! It's coming after me! Ah! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Oh, he's dead. 
Let's go in and welcome to the entrance. Yeah, there's no pause every time you go to a new area. And there's no quiet room in between new sections, so that kind of blows. But oh well, this is Castlevania. What do you expect? Alright, we're in the entrance. If we go up here, we get the leather boots. We're gonna equip that right away. Decreases our luck, but who gives a shit? And an enemy, the skeleton. I miss it. Oh, this introduces you to sub weapons. Press up an attack, and there you go. Oh yeah, pressing the uh, the shoulder buttons dashes. If you're facing right, the L button dashes back. The right button dashes forward. If you're facing left, the L button dashes forward, and the right dashes back. It'll, it'll be confusing, but once you get used to it, I think you'll be pro at this. Our first relic! Soul Orb! It tells you how many damage you're dealting to an enemy. Like that. There are criticals, if by chance. We got some zombies! The critical does double damage every time you do critical. And I see peeping eye in the background. Yes, there is money. And you may think to yourself, where is the merchant? Where is he? Ow. Well, he's somewhere around the castle. We are not going to get to in a later time. I'm just going here to grind up some levels. Get some level ups. Maybe get some drop items if I can. And another new knife, uh, so I went with the knife. Don't check to see if it works. Okay, it's working. But my favorite sub weapon is holy water. And we got leather, leather armor. Let's equip it. Yeah, let's equip it. But my favorite sub weapon of all time is holy water. And we're out of hearts. And a potion! The sprite from potion is actually from Sympathy of the Night. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> oh boy. Got some more skeletons. We won't know the en names of the enemies until we get a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, relic. Yeah. Yeah, we won't know the name of the enemies until we get a relic. And, a and an enemy! The Armor Knight. Oh, it's the theater night. Here, here's another potion. This game is quite beautiful for a GBA game, really. This was really, this was released one year before Dawn of Sorrow and after, I think, Circle of Moon. I don't know. But this is one of the beautiful games. It's cool, but nothing bugs me in how Justy's walk. Yeah, that's the only thing that bugs me. And we have the save room, which is a 2D version of Sympathy Tonight. We will save here. And the save room function is activated. A quick save. Just like suspend. Come a new one. And we got the holy water! This is my favorite sub weapon of any Castlevania game ever. Because I just love it. Oh yeah, you heart max up. We actually pick up HP max up, MP max up, and heart max up. Oh, gotta get my buttons in the X button. There you go. I wasn't fast on my response time. Oh yeah, when Armor Knight spins like that, that means he's blocking. And he can't get up there yet. So let's ignore that for now, for the time being. Will your number counter on your, um... Will the number counter on your, um... Heart... Hearts blank, that means you can use that sub weapon. See, I got six, I can use it. It uses three hearts. And we're entering the new area! The Marble Corridor. Introduce you to the first new boss. Actually, the only boss, surprisingly, that you can skip. For the hell of it. 
Yes! There's a boss in this area and they let you skip it. Now that you skip it. DEATH! What the fuck are you doing here? It's death. Wait a minute. Justy, you're wrong. Death? You saying death is here to mean Dracula's here? Uh, no. Will you check out Dornosaur and Area Sorrow? Then your facts are very wrong. Castle map number one. Backspace is the castle. Map, here he is. We're gonna get more of the pieces of the map later. But we're not gonna go there yet, down there. Okay, why did I duck? Why did I dash forward? Why did I do that? And why my 99 luck is not working? Look for drop items. Oh well. Oh well. Can't go and get what you want, really. Quote from, quote from playing with my Wii. Sorry if I stole that from you. I really am. Want a cookie? Oh boy. Let's see, up here is more armor knights. Suppose, suppose some good old hash. Holy water! And before you. Ow. This game is actually pretty hard. Not hard in. Not hard in. Not hard as in Circle of Moon difficulty. I mean, hard. This is kind of easy, but kind of difficult at the same time. It's just the shoulder dash button which just gets me a little annoyed. And we got our first spell book, the Ice Book, at a hard max up. Not bad. Let's equip it. Now we can do ice. Ice magic with our holy sub weapons. This one takes MP, however, rather than hearts. So, hearts are now obsolete. Now we have magic. Which regains over time, but if you if you want to keep using the sub weapon, don't worry. You can unequip. Ow! You can unequip it, so don't worry. Ow! That's gotta hurt, you know. <laughs> and we're just bunking along. Ah, uh, great to be back in a GBA format. You don't know how many spaces all the DS recording took up. It took up 60 gigabytes, really. <laughs> that is nuts, honestly. <sighs> okay, we gotta go up. I hit the damn bed, will ya? Justice, you built my Wii. Stop hitting me. Stop getting hit by bats. I always get... You know what's funny? I always get hit by bats, no matter what Castlevania game it is. <laughs> We're gonna go down, apparently. There are secret rooms, but I forgot where they are, so I may look up a map. Just find out where they are. Yeah, I forgot where they are. Ah, fuck! Fleeman! Fleeman! More Fleeman! Bats. And we got a boss room. This is one of the bosses you kinda can skip and watch. Go up here. Deuces heads. But I'll continue explanation in the next part. When we come back. I'll explain why the first bosses you can easily skip. And ignore him all the way. Until then. Catch you later.